Imagine a world where you're not even human. You can create universes with ease and control time. This could be a reality in an incredibly advanced, and I mean an incredibly advanced civilization. Is a Type 7 civilization even possible? What would humans look like, and why might something like this be a bad idea? Here's what would happen if humanity became a Type 7 civilization. Before we start, let's quickly recap the types of civilizations. I'll make it quick. Type 1 civilization. Humanity gains control of Earth and can access all the power on the planet. Type 2 civilization. Harnessing the power of the Sun and populating other planets like Mars and Venus. Type 3 civilization. Controlling the entire galaxy, commanding the power of black holes, multiple stars, and all other celestial bodies. These civilizations were conceived by Nikolai Kardashev, who created the Kardashev Scale, a hypothetical framework used to measure a civilization's ability to harness technological power. Civilizations 1 to 3 were developed by Kardashev himself, but the list has since expanded speculatively to add types 4 through 7. Here are some of them in Fast Forward. Type 4 Civilization. Humanity gains the ability to populate and control the entire universe. Type 5 Civilization. Humanity controls multiple universes, becoming a multiversal civilization. Now what happens next is pretty ridiculous. And we should preface that this goes beyond the expanded Chev, making these next civilizations purely speculative and so advanced that scientists claim these civilizations are hard to even comprehend. Now, during our journey to a Type 7 civilization, climate change could seriously affect the Earth, especially if we don't do anything to stop it. But don't worry, there's hope. Renewable energy is getting cheaper every year, and countries are investing more resources into it than ever before. The environmental group American Climate Corps announced a new program that's going to train 20,000 people in clean energy and climate resilience. This is only the start and should help us progress even more into a future with renewable energy. Let's try to keep the momentum going. Remember, you can push your leaders and neighbors for change and make a huge impact on the environment. Now let's check in on our next civilization, Type 6 Civilization. A Type 6 Civilization will see significant upgrades from our Type 5 Civilization. Instead of controlling parts of multiple universes, we can now control everything. We can instantly create or destroy any universe of our choosing, and time becomes a new toy for us to play with. We can manipulate it any way we want, creating multiple timelines. Maybe one where I'm the president, or I have blonde hair, or maybe one where I'm super jacked. With all these multiverses, humanity wouldn't be the only civilization. By now, there's a good chance that we've discovered or even created multiple civilizations of other new species across different universes. Ones that range from Type 0 to Type 5. And of course, with us at the top of the food chain, humanity would be the rulers of these civilizations, or we might view them as cultures that are lesser than us. Maybe we'll just observe them in the same way we do with ant colonies or zoo animals. And what would you look like in a Type 6 civilization? Well, not like you do now, or I guess you could if you wanted to. Let me show you some examples. You'd have the power to control reality and matter. So if you wanted, you could look like you do now, or you could look like The Rock. There's also a chance that we would no longer be biological beings. As we've progressed through these civilizations, technology and AI have only been getting more advanced. We may have fused with artificial intelligence, becoming robo-human hybrids. Maybe we'd look like this. And if you're more creative, who knows what you could be? You could be an alien, a godlike giant, or go a more efficient route and become a ball of energy that could move around universes with ease. Now, if you think a Type 6 civilization sounds nuts, wait till you see what's next. Type 7 civilization, as we progress through these civilizations, things are only getting more ridiculous, weird, and confusing. We're now officially at the point where this civilization is almost beyond human comprehension. We'd have the ability to create, alter, and destroy more universes, ultimately controlling everything. One of the key differences between a Type 6 and 7 civilization would be us being able to control the Omniverse. Again, this is entirely speculative, but the Omniverse is even bigger than the multiverse. It contains an infinite amount of universes, both real and fictional. It shows every conceivable timeline and contains realities we can't even understand yet. Humans, or whatever we're called at this point, would be able to transcend any form of physical or metaphysical reality. Our new forms are unimaginable, at least with our current knowledge. We'd be past the point of worrying about dying or any form of suffering. Instead, humans might exist in a state of constant bliss, enlightenment, and euphoria. We might be able to exist simultaneously in multiple realities and timelines, able to see everything in the past, present, and future. 
With all this incredible power, it kind of begs the question, would humanity even want to get to this point? Would we even be considered human? Society has progressed so far that we're not even experiencing the things that make us who we are. Instead of hanging out with our loved ones and following our passions, we're now invincible beings who have transcended our current feeble human needs and ideas. We're building new realities and playing God. We'd also have plenty of existential challenges in this period. With humanity being so powerful and controlling everything, what would there be for us to do? We've already conquered the Earth, the universe, and now the Omniverse. Where does humanity progress and what would we have left to accomplish? We wouldn't experience any adversity or challenges to essential aspects of our human life. So, as exciting as these things sound, would it be worth it? Maybe we should go back and experience what life would be like if humanity turned into a Type 1 civilization. That might be more manageable and realistic. And it also sounds like a story for another video.